Hey guys, in this video I will be doing a full guide for beginners about police station. Many people ask me to do this, so here I am. In this video I will show you how to complete police station without a single shot of your gun or anything else. Only melee weapons and 5 to 8 bandages. Very cheap. Not as many zombies can be crouch attacked in this location, but there are some tricks and easy ways how to kill the hungry chomper and the brawler. Zombie officers and small zombies can be wall tricked. Wall trick is simply easy. All you have to do is wait for a zombie's attack and when he's about to swing his arm into you, be behind a wall and then when he swings, you just attack and get behind the wall again. When he starts about to swing his hand. That way you won't get damaged and the zombie will. This does not work on hungry chompers because they work way differently than the other fat zombies, which is really weird, but it is. There's another trick for that though. You can kill fat zombies by using a hockey stick, spear, golf club, road sign, skull crusher, saw blades, all those long range weapons and basically get the fat zombies near the chairs at the entrance of the police station and just circle them around and when the zombie is at the middle of the chairs you just swing at them exactly. They won't be able to reach you but you will be. If you're a really really new player then you can open grey boxes, but don't open all of them. Finish the wall police station and if you get a blue card or a green card, open blues and greens and then lastly open the brown ones. There's a rare chance to get a blue card at the end of the prison cells in the police station. You can also even get an electronic circuit. If you have some resources to fix the terminal, do it. Then you can open even another additional box. When you will get your first cell key, open only the first cell from bottom to top. Do not open the top cell where the jailbird is, or even if he's not in the cell. Open only the first cell. It has the best loot, as for all people which has confirmed me. If you have two keys and use only one, don't use the other key. Save it up for next police station run, because these keys are really worth. Sometimes you will get a cell key and sometimes you can't even get one. But rarely you can even get three or four keys. But that's really rare. Alright, moving from small zombies to SWAT zombies and explosive zombies. These guys are dangerous, be careful because SWAT zombies don't take much damage from melee, neither from guns. But you can still kill him. Just attack, move and keep repeating like I do so in the video. Explosive zombies can kill you in one explosion. To not die by them, you can easily run out of their circle or get behind a wall. I suggest just running out of the circle when he's about to explode. His armor is also hard, just like the SWAT zombie too. When you deal with those guys, there are two riot zombies, which is the most toughest zombie in the police station. There's only two of them. First one is in the cells together with the prisoners and the last one is at the top left. You can sneak both of them and use machete or saw blade or anything else. Just sneak on them and then attack, you will do triple damage. After sneaking, you just kill him. But do note, you cannot kill him while he holds his shield directly in front of his face. When he starts walking weirdly and moves by waving his shield, it means you can attack him and he won't block your hits. That's basically it. Thanks for watching guys, hope this video helps. I'll see you next time.
You're listening to Redneck.